to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how I got this hot pink and black glammetic graphic liner. Yes, this is 100% magnetic liner, which is used to latch on my magnetic lashes. So excited because today I get to try out some of the Glamnetic times Hello Kitty launch, which is amazing. I love Hello Kitty. I love Glamnetic and the fact that they're together is just amazing. So actually the black eyeliner and the hot pink liner are both magnetic and that's what's attaching my lashes, which have a magnetic lash band. So I'll show you how I do everything in the video. So if you want to see how I got this look, Keep on watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. So this is the Hello Kitty packaging, and it is so cute. It's this little mini suitcase that I'm obsessed with. It comes with the magnetic black liner and the lashes. It also comes with this little compact, which is so cute, and I'm using it to apply the magnetic liner. After I do my flick, I start going closer to the lash line and just connecting that line and I like to do this with my eyes open to really get a feel for how it's going to look throughout the day. Simply attach your lashes right on top and there they are. These are the Hello Kitty natural lashes. Very cute, very dainty. Next I'm using the Glamnetic Hot Pink Felt Temp Liner. So this is a magnetic liner and you can use this to attach your lashes, but I'm kind of just using it to add some detail and some creativity to this wing, but you can also use this right at the base of your lash and completely leave out the black liner if you want. This will also attach your lashes. I love how pigmented this felt tip liner is and there's not a whole lot of colorful felt tip liners on the market so the fact that they offer this and it's magnetic is just a double whammy. Next I'm just applying some waterproof mascara to my lower lashes. I have to use waterproof otherwise it just melts off my face. And then I'm taking some tweezers and I'm pinching them together to kind of create more of like a spiky lash. I just felt like this complemented my top lash, so I went with it. Using my Senna palette and this Pixi Petra liquid slash cream highlighter, I'm just kind of mixing the two together and rubbing them together on my hand and applying with a damp beauty blender. Since this is a pink look, I wanted to go ham with a blush, so I'm using this cream blush that I kind of created by mixing these two products, and I'm gonna top it off with the Luminoso blush by Milani. Um, if you know me, you know this is one of my favorite blushes of all time, even though it's hard to open, but this is what it looks like, and I'm just generously applying this all over. Not, oh, not all over, but you get the point. Next, I'm going in with my Milani lip pencil in the shade Natural. And I'm just kind of like reshaping my lips, making them a little fuller and just topping with some chapstick. Using the Naughty Palette by Huda Beauty, I'm tapping into the shade Shameless and I'm putting this in my inner corner as well as sweeping some of it like into my inner crease a little bit just to add some shimmer and some more pizzazz to this graphic look. And voila, that's the final look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day.